Have you ever been to a restaurant and you ordered pizza and you thought, mmm, that pizza is so good. I wish I could make something like that at home. Stay tuned and you're going to find out how. and welcome to another Let's Cook Together program. I'm your host, Jill Morricone, and we have a special pizza party planned for you today in our 3BN kitchen. But first, I want to introduce you to our special guest, Monica Campbell. She comes all the way from Greenville, Tennessee. I want to welcome you, Monica. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for coming and for sharing with us. Yes, my privilege. It's yes. an honor. Uh, well, tell us first, before we make our pizza, just a little bit about your ministry and what you do. Well, we have a couple of ministries. We have okay. For His Glory Health Ministries, which is something that um, we try to share lifestyle changes and cooking school. Mm -hmm. And we um, like to integrate Christ into it. Oh, amen. And right. we also have a bed and breakfast that we like to serve people oh, that can stay overnight and have breakfast with us. Yes. And, uh, be a blessing to Oh, absolutely. I think it'd be a huge blessing to be able to get away and do that. That's right. What is your website? Perfect. Peaceful Waters Bed and Breakfast uh, dot com. Okay. And you spell out all the spell words. Spell everything out. <laughs> even the and. A and D. Right. Peaceful Waters Bed and Breakfast dot com. Yes. Oh, very nice. Yes. Now, you travel all over the country or we, the world? We or go do we wherever we schools? were called to, yes. Okay. And recently, you came back from Puerto Rico. Yes, we were in Puerto Rico. And we oh. had a real blessing there, being oh, able to share with the people. Nice. But what, one of the things that we do do is we use the foods of that country and try to integrate them into the recipes and oh, work I with like what they have. That. I like that very Because much. that really is realistic to them. It and is. Do, and it has worked. It's great. That's right. Because, I mean... I mean, in America, we can get a lot of foods, right? But in another country, another part of the world, you might be like, I can't get this food. So you're trying to help them with what they're eating there. Yeah, and basically when we were in Puerto Rico, we used all their foods that they had. And, you know, they have traditional foods there. Rice and beans. Entrees, yes. yes. And we try to adapt and make those entrees healthfully for them. Oh, so it, it's really a blessing to be able to do that. Yes. Yeah, that's wonderful. Now today we're making pizza. Yes. And before we begin with pizza, um, we'd like to share with you some spare ribs. Oh, nice. So Let's when you chop them up, uh -huh. you can put them onto your pizza. Oh, fun. I like that. Let's read that recipe for those spare ribs. For the spare ribs, you need two pounds of tofu, three tablespoons almond butter, one third cup water, one tablespoon paprika, two teaspoons garlic powder, and one and one half teaspoons sea salt. All right, that's nice and easy. Yes, not hard at all. But before we do the tofu, yes. we took this tofu okay. and froze it. Oh, you put it, just put it in the freezer. Did yes. you drain the water first? Or just put no, it in? we didn't drain it at all. Some okay. do that, but okay. we took the frozen tofu. Oh, we took the tofu and put it in the freezer. Yes. And whenever we needed it, we thawed it's it out. Nice. It changes like the texture to the uh, tofu, so it becomes more like for a rib. Yeah. Making a spare rib. Oh, isn't that neat? Yes. I never would have thought of that. Okay. Yeah. So we're just going to cut them up. But before we do that, let's baste this. I'll have you baste this um, okay. casserole dish. This is just some tahini. This is tahini. And it gives that extra flavor, the tahini, Good. to it. How much you want? Just a little uh, coating all the way on okay. the bottom. Is that too much? Nope, that's perfect. Okay. Now I gotta get this side over here. This is just tahini, right? It's just tahini. This okay. You could use olive oil if you like, okay. but the tahini gives that little extra flavor oh, to yeah, the ribs. Absolutely. Let me just get so, over here. There we go. Almost there. There. Isn't that neat? I never would have thought of basting stuff with tahini. Yes. That's you can do bread idea. that way too. I do yes. bread and I baste their loaf pans and it gives that bread with an extra. Yes. With tahini. Oh, I never thought of that. And I yeah. make bread all the time. Okay. So we're going to take this um, tofu and mm -hmm. we squeezed all the water out of it once it's yes. thawed out. Yes. And it won't break apart so easily because it's been frozen and it the texture has it changed. Together. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And so I'm just going to strip it like you would. Um, um, Spare ribs. Doing spare ribs, okay. Yeah. 
Isn't that neat? And here we're putting that on the tofu. I love that. Such a good idea, Monica. Yes. Okay, I'm going to take that out. Okay. And I'm going to cut it again. Okay, yeah. So you make like nice little strips. Make nice little oh, they're long cute. strips. Can I feel it? Sure can. Yeah, they really do. Oh, yeah, that holds together. That's very nice. Because yes. most tofu, you know, if you cut it like that, it would start to fall apart and disintegrate. Right. That's true. Yeah. <coughs> and sometimes when it's not fully thawed, it'll do that. Oh, I so didn't know that. So you do have to make sure it's really well thawed. Okay. Yeah. And if you're in a hurry, maybe put some warm water yeah. running on it. Right, okay. So we're just going to cut this up, and I oh, guess that'll be good. Very cute. Yes, and we're going to next do a basting sauce to okay. put on top of it. Okay, so normally you would cut up the rest of the tofu. Yes, you would cut all of it pan. in there, yes. Okay. Yep. Okay, we have the blender here. Okay, and yes, we're going to start with some, uh, let's start with some water. Okay. So that it's on the bottom of the yeah, blender. That's pretty smart, I like that. Because if you put the almond butter first in there, it kind of takes it, it makes it a little harder, butter. difficult. Yeah. yeah, you've got some almond butter. Okay. You could use peanut butter instead. Uh-huh. And, uh... Um, it would just give you a little different flavor. You prefer the almond flavor? Yes. Okay. Okay. And we've right. got some paprika. Oh, yes. A that tablespoon. Give it good flavor and yes. the color, too. I love that. Yes. And some garlic powder. Okay. And some sea salt. Oh, that's easy. I like that, Monica. It's yeah. not a hard recipe. And just blend it up. Okay. We're going to make some noise. <laughs> <laughs> what you might want to do is scoot it down a little bit, anything that kind of escaped. There we go. Oh yeah, it looks, it looks pretty realistic. Do you know yes. that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Try it one more time. Okay. All right. And we're going to take now a different basting brush. Okay. And we're going to take it and um, just baste it. Okay. And we're going to just put it on and baste Very it. Very nice. Now you just do one side because we're just getting one side. Is that right? One side first. And then oh. once you've got all your sides done, you're okay. going to turn it over and do the other side. Oh, cute. I like that. Very nice. And they're excellent. My husband loves them. Does he? That is one of his favorite. And you know, there's a recipe we had done on another show, and it was a barbecue sauce, or any barbecue yes. sauce that you're happy with, mm -hmm. um, you put on top of it after it's been baked. Nice. And it's excellent. Yes. But today, we're going to do it and cut it up and put it on top of a pizza. Oh, yeah, that sounds excellent. good. excellent. Yes. I was thinking as far as your barbecue sauce, Monica, could our friends at home contact you at Peaceful Waters Bed and Breakfast? Yes. There's a way to contact you there. Yes. Then. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you can get the barbecue sauce from Monica if you'd like to get this. Yes. Okay, yes. good. Yes. Because I remember that was a real good barbecue sauce. That you yes, did. it was. It was a very nice one. Yes, it was very good. Yes. Good. So we bake this? And you bake it. How long? I would say at 350 for okay. about 10, 15 minutes um, on either side. And you've got to turn it around. So you do like 350, 10, 15 minutes one side and then you flip them? Yes. Would you, pardon my ignorance here, because I don't baste stuff, okay? So would you baste the one side, do it, and then flip it and baste the other no, side? No, you do all of it at one time, okay. and then cook it, and okay. bake it, and then turn and it then over in there. Yes. But you don't have to baste it again, you just no. flip it, and that's mm -hmm. it. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> excellent. <laughs> okay, now we're making our pizza sauce. Yes. Oh, good. You want to read our recipe there for our pizza sauce recipe. Okay, one jar of tomato puree a 28 ounce can of tomatoes, one quarter teaspoon oregano, three quarter teaspoon basil, one teaspoon garlic powder, one small can of tomato paste, one teaspoon of honey, three quarter teaspoon onion salt, one tablespoon arrowroot. You know, I really like recipes for pizza sauce. Yeah. You know, to be able to find something that's either spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce or something. But something simple to make. That's right. But tastes good. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Let's see how to make this one. Okay, we're going to start with this um, mm -hmm. tomato, mm -hmm. canned jar tomato mm -hmm. here. That's nice. Just tomato puree. Or if you Just can your own tomatoes, you can yes. use that. Oh, it's even nicer because it's, yes. it's, they're sweeter when you can your own. The flavor yeah. sure is good. Yeah. Okay, we're going to start with the one can of tomato sauce. Okay. 
And then we've got some tomato paste to give it some extra flavor to yes. it. Yes. Now, tomato paste, what's the difference between that and the tomato sauce? It's just the leftover okay. from the tomatoes being put, um, put through. Okay. Okay. And we've got some air root. All right. And that'll be our thickener? Yes. Kay. And, you know, it's basically adding all these different seasonings, the onion yes. salt. Absolutely. The oregano and basil. Uh-huh. And, of course, when you're going to put honey in, you want to yes. add, you know, we have like a teaspoon of honey here. If your tomatoes are really tart and yes. you know it, you want to add a little more honey Absolutely. to it. Because you need something to offset that tartness yes. so it's not quite Definitely. so tart. Yeah. And, you know, some onion powder. It's a very simple recipe, and it's mm -hmm. also a recipe that you could can if you wanted to. Oh, that's a good idea. And I what like it, that. One of the things that we do is we get little canning jars, so it's just enough for those who are by themselves or just a couple mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. You can just take this small canning jar full of already canned. Nice and be able to put it on your pizza or on That's your bread nice. and it makes it really quick. Or if you're traveling or mm -hmm. something for something special. Oh yeah. You hear you have pizza sauce. Yes. yes. So that's kind of like a pint sized jar, is that yes, what you're thinking? Yes, it's a little pint one. A pint sized jar. Yes. yes. I like that. Yes. And that's all you do idea. is bring it to a boil and let it simmer for, let's say, you know, 30 minutes. Okay. So all the seasonings would blend yes. in really well. Cover it, simmer it. And don't they say the longer you simmer something, the better the flavor? As long as you don't burn it. Yeah, <laughs> this is a good mm -hmm. point. <laughs> yeah. I have burned more than one of them. Have you really? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. But no, that's a good you idea. Get busy. Yes. Yes. And make sure you stir it. Yeah. 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 That's, and that's good. your pizza sauce. Very simple. Oh, that's wonderful. And you could you freeze it as well? Now, that I have not frozen. Sometimes okay. when you take sauces like that and freeze them, they lose complete flavor. Okay. And that's what I found. Okay. And so that's why we moved towards canning in this case. Okay. So this is one of those things where you can't freeze it. You can't go ahead and I don't do think that. I would freeze it. Right. No. no. We don't want it to lose flavor. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. Now we're going to make a cheese sauce. Yes. Put on it? Yes. Yeah. Sounds good. Let's read that recipe for our cheese sauce. For the cheese sauce, you need one cup cashews, one cup water, two tablespoons unhulled sesame seeds, one four ounce jar of pimentos, one quarter teaspoon celery salt, one half teaspoon garlic salt, one teaspoon onion salt, three quarter teaspoon sea salt. Well, this looks like a real nice cheese sauce, Monica. Yes, it's one of our favorite cheese sauces. Is it? You use yeah. it for a lot of different things. Right yes, there. very simple to make. Yes, yes. that's nice. Yes. And it's so much healthier than buying cheese sauce. Yes. You know, or buying cheese in the store yes. or something. Yes. Right? right? Yes. Also, we've got like a um, red pepper there. Often we yes. use pimento, but we've taken the red pepper mm -hmm. and we've actually um, baked it in the oven. Oh, okay. Now tell me how you do this. You well, just you slice up a fresh red pepper. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you put it in a dish mm -hmm. and add just a little bit of water so it yes. doesn't burn. Yes. But there's oil in there. And so when you bake it for 20 minutes, oh, it gives a nice flavor. Ah. And it adds okay, to your cheese it. sauce. Yes. Oh, yeah, I can smell that. Yes. Very it makes nice. a big difference like in your flavor of your cheese sauce. It just gives that extra. Oh, yeah, that would make a big difference. But you could use a fresh red pepper. Mm -hmm. Let's say you don't have time to do that. <laughs> right. And the pepper, when you've done that, you can also freeze yes. it really well. Oh, after you roast it, you can yes, freeze it? Yes, you can roast it and then oh. freeze it in small little packages. Oh, that's nice. So when you need it, you just take it out? Yes. So if you have time for something, you know what I'm saying, say on a Sunday or something, you're, you have a block of time, you're cooking, you could just do up your red pepper then. Right. That would be nice. Stick it in the freezer. I like that. What's really interesting uh -huh. is that you can can this. Oh, the cheese sauce. Cheese sauce can be canned. Just like we talked about canning our uh, pizza, pizza sauce. Pizza sauce. Yeah, I'm yes. trying to think what we just made. Okay. The thing that's nice about the canning is that it keeps the flavor even when you can yes. it. And so let's say you're on a trip or something, you can take it out mm -hmm. and you can just, um, you know, spread it on a, yes. a piece of bread or yes. you can add it to whatever you want. Oh, nice. Yes. I like that. Yeah, my sister makes a roasted pepper and eggplant sauce. She puts the peppers and eggplant, she roasts it in the oven like that. Yes. So I like that. That's yeah. a real good idea. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's, right. shall we get going here? Yes. What, water We're going to start with first? the cashews and water and sesame seeds. Okay. Now these are rinsed, right? Cashews? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here's our water. Now our sesame seeds, where could we find those? We can find those now in a regular food store also. Okay. You, okay. um, they're um, something that's available now more and yes. more all the yes. time. Yes. yes. You know, I think health foods are not as um, 
I don't know. They're more readily available. Yes. It really seems like it's easier to find. You can just go to the grocery store. Especially and get when it. more people are asking for it. Yes. That's they right. make it available for yeah. that. Okay. okay. We'll What's go next? Ahead. I mean, just going to go blend ahead okay. and um, blend that. There we go. Well, I think we got to turn it on under here. There we go. Now we'll see if it works. Okay, now we've got some several different seasonings here and they do have salts in them and some yes. of those that need to have less salt. Mm -hmm. We have cut the salt down quite a bit and okay. it's still very tasty. Oh, so nice. those that need to be on a sodium, you know, sodium free diet, right. just cut it down. Don't use the salts, use the powders. Yeah. And we still use some salt because we do need some salt. Absolutely. It's and important. so that's a, another way to go right. as well for those that have a problem so with sodium. So if you have high blood pressure or something like yes, that, you try to re reduce your salt intake, yes. you can do that. Okay, yes. good. All right, we can go ahead and put all these in and the nice red pepper. Oh, yeah, that smells so good. Garlic salt. All right. Celery salt. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Celery and salt. Onion right. powder. And sea salt. Okay. And that's it. And then yes. we blend it. Yes. Okay, good. Let's put this lid on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Let's put it in here so we can see the nice orange color okay. to it. Yeah, that red pepper really does a good job there. Yes, it does. It gives a nice oh, orange nice. color. Nice. Very nice. Now we're going to be putting this on a um, gel on a pizza. Okay. But we want to give some suggestions here with this cheese sauce that's been really a big help to a lot of people. Yeah. And that is we've taken some macaroni here, I noodles. Just set it down, then they can get a shot. Okay. And um, you can just add the cheese sauce to it. Nice. And bake it, and you've got a macaroni and cheese. Yeah. So you just boil your noodles and add this, and yes. that's it. And in the baking process, it makes it thicker like a macaroni cheese yes. that you like. Yes. My husband loves that dish, like a, a homemade cheese sauce and add it to that. Yes. It's so it. easy yeah. to add a lot of other foods that will balance right. that diet. That's and it right. gives a nice staple for yes. it. Yes. Yes. And another one we have is, and this is yeah. one of my favorites, mm -hmm. grilled cheese. Oh, yeah. I love grilled Just cheese. Just because we don't have regular cheese, we can mm -hmm. still have grilled cheese with yes. a natural cheese. Yes. And it's a very nice um, cheese. It just it comes out just oh, like a grilled nice. cheese does. Yeah, I was looking at that. Isn't that amazing? Yes. Isn't that wonderful? Wow. Yeah, yeah. and it's so cute with your garnishes there yes. and stuff. Yes, yes. And I so like there's that. lots of ways of using this cheese just mm -hmm. like we did before and, mm -hmm. and, you know, and really be enjoyable and tasty. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Now you fix a lot of these recipes at your bed and breakfast? Yes. That is also a choice. You, we always have a menu so that people yes. can select what they'd like. Yes. And so um, that works out well. Do you have like response cards? You know how you, people can well, rate the food and, they, and that's how well you get we, an idea what people well like? Well, we kind of give them a suggestion list okay. and then they choose from that list. Okay. Nice. And they, you know, we have stuffed shells and we have the macaroni oh, cheese. Cool. We that could have a good. lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. That would be helpful to them. Uh, and you share these recipes as well when you go out and do cooking schools and stuff, yes, right? Yes, because they're not our recipes. They're God's recipes. That's right. That's right. How long are your cooking schools before we go to putting our pizza together? Well, we do a five or six day evening one for, okay. about, for about two and a half hours. Okay. And um, that includes a uh, lecture and a talk. And we do demo tasters uh -huh. always because oh, it's yeah. when you have tasters <laughs> that it helps a lot. Because mm -hmm. who wants to cook something or put something together they haven't tasted That's before? Right and spend that's all right. that money on it. That's and so right. tasters are great for cooking schools. Oh yeah, that's right. And so we go through, uh, we, we have a video, we have all different things to make it a variety and interesting. Mm -hmm. And of course, we always want to base it on God. Yes, you know, and absolutely. Because he's the all-powerful. That's right. And he doesn't leave any one of us out. That's right. We are never absent from his mind. Yeah, that's special, isn't it? Yes. That's right. He cares enough about us to share these helpful things with us. Yes, yeah, he wants that's us to right. have a healthy mind. Yeah, that's neat, very nice. Do you go every single night? Or do you no. skip nights when you do we it? We skip nights. Okay. We may do two a week and two. Oh, it depends okay. if it's out of town or not. Oh, yeah, that's true. If it's true. out of town, it's much closer together. Yes. Can't stay away from too long.
Well, that's good. Let's put our pizza together. I want to put all these different pizzas together here. Yeah, so let's have some fun. Okay. <laughs> Let me just move this pasta out of the way. Okay, we'll use we need the cheese, cheese sauce. sauce. Okay. We'll put the pizza in front of here. All right. Okay. Now, did you make these crusts? They're pretty cute, Monica. Well, like we do normally take part, uh, make crusts, but okay. these were not made. Okay. They were already done. Already done. Okay. Yes. And you have pizza crust recipes if our friends want to eat yes, you. Yes, we have it in the okay. cookbook, too. Good. Yes. All right. All right. We're going to start with this one here, and we're going to put our pizza sauce on it first. Now, this is the pizza sauce that we already made in our recipe. Yes. Yes. Fun. Okay. One that we can can and just bring it, you know, take it I out. I like that. Absolutely. It's good. Okay. And we're going to add some cheese sauce so we can see our toppings on. So we're going oh, to... Oh, that's a good idea. That way we know what's under there. That's right. And so you want to... Oh, it smells good, Monica. I can smell that, the pizza sauce I can smell. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. smells really good. I love pizza. Oh, yes, me too. Okay, now with this one, we're going to use some <laughs> barbecue spare ribs. Yes. Go ahead Very and nice. Those okay. On? Okay, we want to put them all on? Yeah, you could. Okay. I like that because we're using everything that we made today in our yes. pizzas. Yes. Isn't that fun? Yes. And these cooked very nice. Yes. They after do. they were in the oven for mm -hmm. that time. Very nice. I should be more generous with this here, huh? <laughs> there we go. Ooh. All oh, right. man, I want to eat this pizza. It looks really, really good. Okay. So we're going to add some more tomatoes to it. Okay. This is just one combination of pizza that uh -huh. we really like uh -huh. it this way, but you can put a lot of different toppings on. I like that, Monica, because you can really do whatever you like. Yes. You want all the tomatoes? Sure, you can put the tomatoes on. We okay. like it. Oof. It smells good. And maybe a little bit of olives. All right. I like olives on pizza. Okay. To me, a pizza is not pizza without olives on it. I really like olives. Boy, doesn't that look good? Yeah. Mm, very nice. This, you can get your kids to help you. I like oh, that. Oh, yeah. The kids yeah. love to do this. Do you know This what? is a favorite thing to do. Yes. yes. Just get your kids in the kitchen working. That would be fun. Get yes. your little hands in there. Yes. It's a good way to encourage yes. young ones to be involved. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's try number two. Okay, so a little bit different combination, but we're going to start off with the pizza sauce again. Okay. I'll let you go ahead. And put okay. pizza sauce on. We did all of it, right? Yes, we did. Like we did. And these are such cute sizes for the pizza too. Pizza yes. crust, I like that. Yes. So if you had pizza crust in your freezer and yes. you had some pizza sauce canned, there it would be very go. simple to make a really nice it meal would be real very quick, simple, yeah. wouldn't it? That would be a blessing. Huh? I mean, we're going to go ahead and put some cheese sauce on it. Okay. And you could really put the cheese sauce on top, but we're doing it this way so you can see the toppings. I like that. Uh huh. Or you could even sprinkle a little bit of cheese sauce over the toppings yes, too. Yes, I love the cheese sauce on okay. it. Okay. Is that good? More? Yes. Nope, that's good. Okay. So we're going to start with this one, some red pepper. Nice. Pepper makes it nice too. What would you bake these at? You well, they the bake oven? another 10, 15 minutes at 350. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Okay. And you know, for those who love pineapple on pizza, yes. oh mm, yeah, there are people out there like myself that like pineapple Absolutely. on pizza. Absolutely. And this is a nice combination. I'm thinking with you're the getting the, the sweet and sour yes. going there. Yes. Yeah. Very much. That's right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I like pineapple on pizza. Very nice. Did you used to make this for your kids when they were little or not? When they were um, younger, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, that's. There we go. Yeah, we always love pizza. Now these are pumpkin seeds and you think, well, you would put that on a pizza crust? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. But what? it's a nice yeah. tasting flavor. But of course you could put whatever you want on. Okay. But so it's very works. nice with pumpkin <laughs> seeds. And pumpkin seeds are very healthy. Yes. And they have a lot of calcium in them. Yes. So it's really good. Now would you do roast these pumpkin seeds first? You could if you wanted to. These are not. Okay. These are so just plain it's raw. up to you. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. if you roast nuts, how do you roast them? You just dry them in the oven by, you know, putting them on a baking sheet and you okay. just put them on, you know, for about 250 degrees for about mm, 10 minutes. 10 minutes or so. Or 10 or 15 minutes, depending okay. what you like. Okay. And then you would be able to, because I know I've tried cashews and when you break them like this, you can see the roasted inside. Yes, that's true. Yes. Yes, okay. almonds do the same thing. Oh, yeah. they do. That's yeah. neat. But yeah. you can do so many, and you can also do other kinds of um, vegetable. You can mm -hmm. do broccoli. 
You oh, can do carrots yeah, of and course. onions. Onions, that's you a big staple for pizza, onions, I think. Yes. And so you could make a different kind of sauce. You don't have to make uh -huh. a pizza sauce. You can make a, a savory sauce. You can make other Absolutely. sauces or that's dressings right. yeah, that can go on top. Idea. There's no stopping. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's fun. You know, friends, we learned today how to make pizza like when you go out to eat at a restaurant. Pizza, right? Yes. That's pretty fun. We had a yes. good time. Yes. We yes. Did. Well, in just a moment, we're going to show you all the final products here that we made today. We hope you've enjoyed cooking with Monica. Now let's take a moment to review our pizza party recipes. For the spare ribs, you will need two pounds of tofu, three tablespoons almond butter, one third cup water, one tablespoon paprika, two teaspoon garlic powder, and one and a half teaspoons of sea salt. For the pizza sauce, you will need one jar of tomato puree or 28 ounce can of tomatoes. 1 fourth teaspoon oregano, 3 fourth teaspoon basil, 1 teaspoon garlic powder, 1 small can of tomato paste, 1 teaspoon honey, 3 fourths teaspoon onion salt, 1 tablespoon of arrowroot. For our cheese sauce, you'll need 1 cup of cashews, 1 cup water, 2 tablespoons unhulled sesame seeds, 1 to 4 ounce jar of pimentos, 1 fourth teaspoon celery salt, 1 half teaspoon garlic salt, 1 teaspoon onion salt, 3 fourths teaspoon sea salt. If you'd like more information on how to contact Monica or if you'd like to receive today's recipes, please write to 3ABN Post Office 220 West Frankfort, Illinois 62896 or call us at 1-800-752-3226. That number again is 1-800-752-3226. Now, let's take a look at our finished recipes with Monica. Welcome back, friends. We're here with our pizza spread, aren't oh, we? Oh, yeah, especially in front of it like this. Yes, that's Tasty. right. Oh, yeah, let's look at what we made today. Well, we have barbecue spare ribs at yes. the front here. They look very good. Yes, you can do so much with that. Oh, yeah. And then we went to our pizza sauce. Yes, a pizza sauce you could use in a lot of other recipes as well. I like that. And we put it on our pizza here. Yeah, and uh, with a different topping with our yes. spare ribs. Yes, very And olives. Nice. Oh, yeah, very good. I love olives. <laughs> and then we have our cheese sauce. Yes, yes. Very nice. Which you can do so many different things with. That's right. And then, of course, you got your... A final pizza. Final pizza. <laughs> With a, a bit pineapple different. in it. I yeah. like that. I think I'd like to put the pineapple and the spare ribs together in one. That seems pretty good. Oh, to me. they would be good too. Yes. I've done that. Yes. Very, very nice. That's a good idea. There's so many ways you can do this. That's right. Thank you for coming, Monica. We oh, had a good time today. I enjoyed it very much. Yes. It was a pleasure. Well, friends, until we see you next time, enjoy these recipes. Make them for your family. And God bless you and keep you.